Enjoy their work at the harbor, pulling and pushing trucks full of cargo to and from the quay. But one morning, the engines were exhausted. The harbor was busier than ever. Sir Topham had promised that another engine would be found to help them. <gasps> it's a Time, said Percy. I ache so much I can hardly get my wheels to move, agreed Duck. They waited for the engine to arrive. <laughs> it came as a shock when he did. Good morning, squirmed Diesel in his oily voice. The two engines had not worked with Diesel for a long time. What are you doing here? gasped Duck. Your worthy fat, uh, Sir Topham Hat, sent me. I hope you are pleased to see me again. I am to shunt some dreadfully tiresome cars. Shunt where? Said Percy suspiciously. Where? Why from here to there? Purred Diesel. And then again from there to here. Easy, isn't it? With that, Diesel isn't to make himself quite clear. Bumps from trucks hard. Oh! oh! Scream the trucks. <laughs> Growled Diesel. Percy and Duck were horrified. They did not trust Diesel at all. They refused to work and would not leave their shed. Sir Topham Hat was enjoying his tea and ice bun when the telephone rang. So there's trouble at the harbor yard. Right, I'll be there right away. Diesel was working loudly and alone. Cargo lay on the quay. Ships and passengers were delayed. Everyone was complaining about Sir Topham Hatt's railway. Percy and Duck were sulking in their shed. What's all this then? Demanded Sir Topham Hatt. We're on strike, sir! Said Percy. Yes! Added Duck. Beg pardon, sir, but we won't work with Diesel, sir. Then, in a quiet her voice, he added. You said you sent him packing, sir. I have given Diesel a second chance. I'm trying to help you two by bringing Diesel here to help. Now then, you must help me. He was the only engine available. Percy and Duck went sadly back to work. Next morning, things were no better. Diesel's driver had not put his brakes on properly, and Diesel started to move. He went bump straight into Percy. Ah, who's there? What's happened? Ah, ah. Wake up there, Percy, scowled Diesel. You have work to do. <laughs> You're so rude, Diesel. Later, Diesel bumped the truck so hard that the loads went everywhere. What will Sir Topham Hatt say? Gasped Percy. He won't like it, said Duck. So who's going to tell them, I wonder? Two goody-goody tattletales like you, I suppose? Percy and Duck did not want to be telltales, so they said nothing. Diesel, thinking he could get away with his bad behavior, was ruder than ever. Next day, he was shunning trucks full of no, china clay. No, 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 he banged the trucks hard into the buffers, but the buffers were secure. The silly trucks were sunk. Uh oh. Soon, Sir Totten Hat heard the news. The trucks were hoisted safely from the sea, but the clay was lost. Sir Tom Hatt spoke severely to Diesel. The harbor master has told me everything. Things worked much better here before you arrived. I shall not be inviting you back. <clears throat> now, Doc and Percy, I hope you don't mind having to handle the work by yourselves again. Oh, no, sir. Yes, please, sir. 
replied the engines. Whistling cheerfully, they puffed back to work, while Diesel slumped slowly away. Oh, 